Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on training you with over 190K reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is the place to go for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. In this video, I want to speak about the GBP, GPY, because at the moment we do have quite interesting price action and structure. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect of this market, then we will move to the order flow, and by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here on this pair. Now, Starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which has just tested a very strong level of previous monthly resistance, which not that the market has broken it to the upside, is turned support here. Now, as we are testing this previous monthly resistance turn support, more bullish price action could be expected away from this area, because we can see how it was acting quite aggressively as resistance here and here as support. And since the market just tested it as support, more bullish price action away from the area is definitely a possibility. Now, if we go down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly perspective, we can see how the market here kind of created an inverted head and shoulders with the left shoulder here, the head here, and the right shoulder here. In fact, if we go down on a line chart, what we can see is that if your eye is not really trained in identifying this pattern, you can do this trick. You can go down on a line chart and you will easily be able to identify the left shoulder here, head here, and right shoulder here. Switching back to candles, it's now easy to see how this is the pattern that the market actually created. And now the rejection to the upside has actually already started. And in a situation like this, where we just had the creation of a higher high, above the previous high and another higher high here and a higher low above the previous low we could expect the market to continue in an uptrend printing higher highs and higher lows going down the daily what do we see now from a daily perspective i did speak about gbp gpy a few days ago after this impulse i explained all the reasons for which we could expect this correction and then from here a rejection to the upside which is in fact exactly what the market did and by the way i will link in description that previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education however as the market is currently breaking above this very strong area of previous daily resistance which was acting as resistance all across this zone at this point, if the market will successfully manage to close above the area, all this previous resistance will become support here. So if we will, at that point, see a retest of this previous resistance turn support, from here we could expect a rejection to the upside for the market to potentially complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. And also, at that point, create a five-wave pattern, with this being the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. And usually the market likes to move in five waves. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data for the pound, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have decreased. We went from having minus 29k net position sorry we went from having minus 5k net positions to having minus 23k net positions however in the very short term we are starting to see increases in net positions going from minus 29k to minus 23k so it seems like even though in the long term net positions are getting decreased in the short term we're starting to see increases in the net positions which makes the gbp stronger because if hedge funds and the biggest players in the market are moving their positioning more to the bullish side of the pound that is a positive thing for the pound and if we go and see what we have on the gpy we can see how overall we went from having minus 102k net positions all the way down to having minus 
21k net positions. So the GBY is actually getting quite strong. However, it is also important to point out how with the last report already, we weren't seeing longs added anymore. In fact, we were actually seeing longs getting shorts and we are missing the next few reports because there has been a delay in the release of the reports, which means that if the trend was that longs were starting to get close, we could expect this to have continued. And at that point, this means that we're st we could start to see an inversion of the strength of the JPY, which would be very good because it means that the probabilities of this impulse correction, impulse pattern to the upside to be completed, meaning the probabilities of the JPY getting weaker than the pound increase. So if we actually get this break to the upside, on the retest how we could be approaching a potential rejection to the upside now as usual trading is reactive and not predictive the monthly weekly and daily combined with the cot data those are the best time frames from a directional perspective however when it comes to confirmations and entries the best time frames are the intraday time frames so for our and lower therefore what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective on the retest of this previous resistance turn support, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we could be looking for a potential rejection higher for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, that is all part of the mentorship program, which you can find at transparentfxtrading.com. Here you have the possibility to get access to my entire course with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to get access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you continue scrolling down the website, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. At least go and check it out, transparentfxtrading.com. The link is also in the description and I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis education and updates for all of you. And I will see you in my next breakdown.